Wake me up inside. <sighs> hey there, everyone. This is Sal Cow playing Outer Wilds, and, uh... Man, so, last time... I feel like a lot happened, but at the same time, like, it was a very important thing to happen. But, in terms of sheer video game-ness, I'm kind of left where I was, aren't I? There's some scissors there. Well, yeah, a uh, knife. Well, we got also, like, giant, like, stabities, so, I don't know, big ol' wrench. Always a good time. So, I am left in the situation where I wonder if the thing to do is a second world tour. You know? Like, like I got- did I ever go there where there's smoke? No, that's water spouts. Did I ever go there? It's just like, John, I think I got squirted out of there. Because, like, there's stuff everywhere, on every planet. Wow, I can see- is that my shadow? I think it is. There's stuff on every planet, like, maybe not every, like, moon, like, maybe not all space object. But the major ones, definitely, there's just the stuff I have yet to experience. And, um, maybe I should. I mean, for Earth? For Hearthian, I don't know. Oh, there's that little building there. No, that's where we start. That's the observatory. That looks like an artificial construct on the North Pole, though. Let's check that out. Like, gonna be really low-key about it. And like, damage my landing gear immediately. It's pretty good. Where am I going? Eh. Like, I okay, I don't know where I am. There's trees underneath me. Oh wait, I'm on top of trees? I heard that, I'm just kind of like scooting around here. Pretty good. <laughs> Put on my helmet on. Wasn't there like, isn't there like not a tower that was single? Was that just like a big tree? No, there it is. Okay. All right, little, 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 little. I don't like, I like, it's like I'm trying to say something. But the concept don't work, so I just repeat. Whoa, really? Unknown from this cabin? Huh. Deep space radio. Alright, look, I'll I'll come back inside. I just Unknown. Unknown. Radio tower. Okay, so it's just that. That's what you're freaking out about. Is that a button I can press? Love me to press the button, if you would let me. Eh, 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 I guess I can't. Or is that like a spinny? It's a spinner. Alright, well here's a radio tower. Deep space, that's related to the old, uh, the old, uh, camera. What am I talking The satellite, jeez, words, uh. It's the launch of deep space satellite. Alright, uh, even record show that this story out of adventure has, uh. Oh man, color printing. Wow, those are giant printers. So this is the first time they had the space map. That is actually pretty cool. They even called it a quantum moon. All right, well, probably it's because my translator translated it to how we were calling it, like, logically. Uh, that, that would be pretty exciting, honestly. Okay, I get the feeling that this might be related to the DLC. Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah, and we, I saw Gabriel's report next to the satellite. I get the feeling this is related to the DLC. Yeah, there's all, there's all our space friends that we're starting to get acquainted with. Satellite angle, 350, 248, 40. So there's all our friends, Deep, Real Hollow, The Thing, Us, Rambles. B 
big ol' eclipse, huh? That thing is huge, or it's close to the satellite. Satellite angle 40. Okay. Yeah, to me, this seems... Ooh. <laughs> yes, Gabro. That's their antenna system. <laughs> okay. See, there's my reason why I believe this might be related to the DLC. Um... This seems to be completely separate from everything else I've experienced in the game. Things that I know. I am aware that the DLC is sort of like, kind of self-contained on its own astral object of some kind. And this here implies that there's an extremely well-hidden astral object out there that is maybe like not that hard to get into once you know how to get into it. That's the vibe I'm getting. And let's talk about a DLC for a second. Well, already stars and space are exploding. Um... Like, I saw the red light of the satellite around here. Like, I wonder if it's too late? It's at angle 40. I don't know where it starts or ends, so... Well, I could put on my signaloscope. Yeah, go for deep space radio. Uh, because the satellite should be on that, but I'm not getting it. Oh, see, I'm getting something. Th that's a radio tower. But there's another one. Or am I too far away? Alright, well that might be something for another day then. Because I know how to get to the satellite, like, at the start of a new day. Or... I can just find... Yeah, it's super far away. Oh, it's not that far away. It's a little bit far. Oh, it's that red light. Got it. Oh, what? That's enough? Okay. Because, um... Alright, so, thoughts on the DLC. Uh, the friend that convinced me to play this game has told me that I probably should do the DLC before I beat the game. It is ingrained in... in the world, so to speak. I know some people have had expressed concern that the ending of the DLC may spoil the ending of this game. But said friend has debunked this by telling me that the ending of the DLC changes depending on if you've beaten the actual real game or not before. And honestly, that might be an interesting... Like, I feel like a lot of people who are watching me play this game already play the game. Like, that's... They might probably have experienced, you know, DLC after the game. But, so this could be, I think, an interesting way to do this. Like, a new perspective. Oh, oh geez, I'm going too fast. All right, match, 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 match. So, 40, 40. Are we at 40 yet? Would I be able to see from this? Oh, we are way beyond 40. Yeah, we're 120 something. So get here at 40, look at the sun. And there's gonna be an object of the size I can't really tell. That is hidden in plain sight. Alright. That's something to do. You know what? Since I have time, we're like, maybe like, eh, not even halfway. I've never really explored the Ash Twin all that much. By the time I found buildings, I got whisked away. So I'm thinking... What if we do that? <laughs> I'm starting to get real close to the sun. I mean, these, these two... Oh, that, that. No, 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 no! Satellite at 40 degrees, you say? <laughs> we are- wow, we are at 8 right now. So... Because the strat here is we find the sun. Am I not? Yeah. Okay, no, no, no. Stop. Nope, wrong one. There we go. Here's the satellite, here's the sun. Once we get at a certain place in time, 
We should see an eclipse. Well, assuming that it does this every... I'm, I don't know what time span we're talking about here, actually, now that I think about it. But I feel like they wouldn't put the angle number, like the number, a number, so nice and easy to see. If that didn't mean something, you know? There it is! There it is! You can totally see it! Uh, well, Alright, well, I knocked our map offline. There's a... Pretty huge, honestly, astral object. Whoa, it is massive! Okay, and it's completely dark. And my... Autopilot is not focusing on it. Wait a second! Whoa, it's like... A void. Am I too late? Did I miss it? Like it's an emptiness. God damn it. Oh, okay. Not god damn it. But point is, I have no idea where that void went. I guess I missed it. Yeah, like, my thing does not focus on it, so... Unless it's that? No. No, 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 abort. I was on something, but, uh, maybe it's just a planet or something. Oh, that's a shame. Please don't get into the sun. That's all I'm asking. No, no, abort, 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 abort. I'm gonna crash into the planet. Alright, you know what? Close enough. Okay. Let's find something to interact with here. There's buildings and stuff. This is the last time I got... I got kind of captured. You think there's a way in that building? Maybe. Okay, okay, you know what? We may, might be on to something here. We have something. Whoops. Whoops. You know what? Maybe this is fine. Alright, okay. We're doing something. Whoa, it's night suddenly. Alright, look at that. We got like a little tunnel I can go. There's cacti everywhere. That's a warp of some kind. Huh. What about the other side? Got like a little side ramp there. Another warp of some kind. Uh, thing to read from... Oh, wait a second. Is this meant to transport you using the sand? I doubt it. Whoa! By I doubt it, I mean that is exactly it. I just can never stay on on the world of sand. I think it's absolutely nuts that I just leapt from here and I'm going to land on the Ash Twin. Assuming I don't get sucked up by the sun. I doubt it. Maybe I should down trust a little bit. Dude, no, no, no. No, wait. Oh boy, this is... Why is it so hard? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Like, I don't... I don't want to crash and die. Okay, okay, this is something. There's my ship. Okay, that cost a lot of my fuel. But hey, I'm back! I'm back on the sand. So, to use the sand column as a way to traverse from one place to another. Cool. Great. Fantastic. There's a dead man here. 
and cactus. Alright, we got ourselves a big old land bridge. But it's not really land. There's another exciting building. Alright, I am running across the equator, I know this. Taste that matters. This is sand. Yeah, 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 I remember seeing this. Alright. Wow, so we need even more sand to be removed before I can explore. So you know what? Turns out, maybe I spent the exact amount of time necessary to make things work. Ooh, this is a shape. There you go. Here we go. Look at that. This place is draining. Oxygen right here. That's very glad to see that. Okay, there's a purple something in unveil. Okay, it's the underlight. Got it. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Calm down. I... Please. Wow, it is just like being maintained there, actually, looks like. For a little bit. Is that how you get to the sun? Is that how you get to the satellite that's orbiting the sun? Did I just lose my chance? Because I just looked up there and it was like all sun, but like how would that work? I have no idea. This is the other side. Huh. Okay. Now I'm wondering. That shadow, well, that illumination rather kind of freaked me out. <laughs> Is this how you go to the sun satellite? Now I wonder. It is the closest planet. So if there would be a way to reach the satellite. This would be the place. Hmm. Honestly, where am I? I was just going to say how that thing aligns with like all the planet. Well, uh, here I am, stranded and without liver. <laughs> um all right is this it for today's adventure is there anything here that i can't do ow hey, i never seen this it's uh so no my like sketch drawing Trees. A massive tree with a hole in it. Then you got, like, little gnomies there. In a building? Is this hint that there's a tree I can enter? There might be a tree that is very big that we can go in. Like, you? Well, it was like a door on the side, but I don't know, like, time has happened, so... This might be a little bit different. Let's look for a big tree. Why not? That's a big tree. But... There's no, that's not a door. That's moss or plants. Those are different things. Well, what did that text say? Well, ghost matter! I lived. I did not see you there. Wow. Okay. There's a sweet tunnel though. It's ah, it does tunnel. Look at that. Yeah. I love tunnels. Did it. Went through it. Good times. Well, somewhere on Timberheart. There just might be a tree with a door in it. Yeah, 
I'm kind of stranded here at this point. I think that today is activity stranded. Oh, jeez, the sun. Oh, this is looking vaporwave. <laughs> Managed to get out of the pit, though, for what it's worth. Uh, I think I'm just gonna sit down and wait for the end. So there's a tree somewhere with a hole in it. It's just that this planet is full of trees. Also, just kind of assuming that trees will live long enough. But I don't know, man. Oh no, there's a hum. We're in the end. Yeah. Oh well. This place. Have I? Oh no, it's just here. 